missed you. Give us a big kiss. <laughs> Paul is in the lead with 4,300 points. <laughs> Sophie is in second with 4,100. <laughs> and Carl is in third with 3,800. <laughs> It is getting harder and harder to tell if people are actually dating or just standing next to each other. <laughs> Everyone is obsessed with answering this critical question, from Instagram accounts to YouTubers to subreddit threads. So for our elimination game, we're playing Define the Relationship, or as the kids say, DTR. Are they dating? Are they friends? Did one of them raise the other from birth? <laughs> What's up here? Before we play, select the amount of points you want to wager. You can wager up to the amount of points you currently have, or you can wager nothing. I'm not your mom. <laughs> if I were, I would have never let you out of the house wearing that. <laughs> At the end of the round, the panelists with the lowest score will be eliminated from the game. Now, please whisper your wagers into the podium. <laughs> This is a high tech, this is a high tech set. You heard me! <laughs> the game is just like it sounds. I'm going to show you a video of two people and you're going to define their relationship. Here we go. What are these people to each other? <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to see the video again? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's show you it again. <laughs> Take a second to really consider before you lock in your answers. Sophie's locked in. Carl is locked in. Paul is locked in. <laughs> All right, let's start with you, Sophie. Are these people dating, parent, child, siblings? Friend, what do you think? Three words, lesbian life partners. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Carl, what are these people to each other and why? Well, I'm looking at two different lifestyles here. We got Barack Obama with dreadlocks. <laughs> <laughs> we got Regine from Living Single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say these are siblings. Okay, all right. And Paul? I'm going to say that these two people are the most beautiful thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they are a mother and son. <laughs> Okay. Well, panelists, as shocking as it might seem, these people are oh. parent child. That's right. He's her dad. Whoa. I know. Whoa. I know. Whoa. Paul, Paul is thinking. the only one who got close. So I think we're gonna give it to him. Paul, what did you wager? I bet it all, baby. Whoa. Go big or go home. <laughs> Sophie, what did you wager? I wagered like 23.23 points. <laughs> <laughs> so that it would be really inconvenient if I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what did that come out to? 4,077 points. That's right, we, that's what I You rounded down from a, a decimal, I think. <laughs> and Carl, what did you wager? Too damn much. They kept <laughs> telling me to bet more money. <laughs> I was gonna walk away from the table. I can't go home. <laughs> <laughs> 2,000, I think. 2,000? Oh. oh. That puts us at Paul in first place with 8,600 points. Sophie in second with 4,077 points. And Carl in third with 1,800 points. Unfortunately, that means we are saying goodbye to Carl, who has been eliminated. And, uh, yeah. Carl, you've been a bad, bad contestant. And that means you are under horny arrest, and you must report. You must report to horny jail. <laughs> okay, so just take the handcuffs, Please. and when we cut to commercial, we're just you're just gonna sit off camera, okay? <laughs> horny jail is more of a concept. <laughs> okay. Right. okay, Carl, anything to say? <laughs> anything to say for yourself before your life sentence in horny jail? Well, I never thought the day would come where Taylor Thomason would tell me to go to horny jail. <laughs> And I'm happy about it. <laughs> well said, and I'm sorry. Uh, now our remaining 
two panelists. <laughs> I think we should require the eliminated panelists to melt like that. That was magnificent. Now our remaining two panelists will face off in our final round. It's for the win. It happens to everyone. You've been blocked by a celebrity because you're weird and you probably did something to deserve it. <laughs> We hear it after midnight, oh, like this person who asked William Shatner if it was true that he's an ass, and he said yes and blocked them. <laughs> <laughs> we here at After Midnight are all about the power of forgiveness, and in a perfect world, even the most mouth-breathing of creeps would get a second chance. <laughs> but maybe not that one. <laughs> Comedians, tonight, you are those creeps. In a brief letter, please write to the celebrity who blocked you and beg for their forgiveness. And don't forget to apologize for exactly what you've done. We'll find out what they did to those innocent A-listers after the break. Now, don't touch that melatonin.